Hadouken! What's going on peeps? Mastermind here and today's video we are going to be talking about Rashid. Now uh, I have finally gotten my hands on Rashid of course. We are playing the Street Fighter 5 beta and uh, he's been made available today. And I have to say uh, initially I wasn't even going to really use him. I wasn't really too interested in him. I mean obviously I was going to mess with him a little bit but uh, and that's what it started out. I just wanted to mess around with him and I've actually uh, I, I really like the way he plays. I've actually really gotten uh, a good feel for the kind of character that he is and right now He's my favorite new character in the game. Uh, I love the way he plays uh, in the beginning as you can see here This is actually my very first Rashid ranked match. I had started practicing with him I lasted in that practice mode. Maybe I'm talking maybe three minutes tops and then they just threw me into a match. So uh, here I am, and uh, I kind of got demolished in the first round. But, you know, the guy I was playing didn't really have too many solid fundamentals. No knock on him. I mean, he probably was just starting using Rashid as well. So we both were really new to this character. So I was able to start just taking advantage of the few little things that I knew about. And that goes with this game. I wish they had a separate practice mode, or at least gave you a timer so when you can go into queue so maybe you have like three minutes and then you go into the ranked match queue which wouldn't necessarily uh guarantee a match but i think it would be cool just so you can actually feel confident about switching characters and and at least getting an understanding of what their moves are at least even looking at the command list so you can see what their moves are but uh anyway he, he's a really fun character i mean he's Really, really agile, really mobile. I mean, I'm surprised even from a lot of the footage that I've seen. Maybe it's just because I'm playing him, but he really gets and moves around the screen really well. And I really like that. Uh, my favorite character in Killer Instinct is Sadira for that same very reason. I like to have that freedom of movement and be able to kind of trick my opponents and get them really defensive because of all the acrobatic stuff that my character can do. So, uh, not to say that I don't like ground game and a lot of ground characters, because it's usually what I'm used to playing, but uh, ever since I guess I got my hands on Killer Instinct and started playing Sidera, uh, I kind of like this. Uh, it was the same thing in MKX, I wanted to find an aerial character, I really didn't find one that I really liked. I know Tanya was a pretty big deal, but uh, when I first started playing MKX, I really liked um, Ferator and Devora. But, uh, and they're not really air characters at all, but uh, Rashid, he's really good. He's really good. I really like the way he plays. He's just fast. He's got, he's got his little projectile, which is kind of weak, but it, it's great because it kind of keeps your opponent grounded because of the way it goes. It, it shoots up in the air, so uh, you can actually play that game where you're keeping them grounded, and then you can kind of surprise them with uh, aerial attacks. Uh, his um, critical arts right here, which you see I missed it there. Or actually, my opponent missed it there. The uh, critical arts there, it's really cool because it's an overhead kind of thing. So again, it's uh, sticking with the theme where you're in the air a lot, but you're kind of preventing your opponents from being in the air. So I think that really makes him effective and really cool. Um, I like that his uh, some of his moves require that you have to rapidly tap the uh, punch button, which kind of makes it feel more interactive. I don't know. It's, it's I think, nicer than just doing a motion and watching him hit you eight or nine times. And it creates a, for some great mix-ups because you may only tap that two or three times and the opponent could possibly be blocking and you, you know, come out of it and hit him with an overhead or a sweep or you throw him. Uh, or if you're actually hitting them, uh, I haven't worked with him in, enough to determine whether that would be an effect, uh, an effective um, reset. But I know as far as mix-up mix-ups are concerned, it it seems to be pretty effective. Uh, so I, I really like him. His normals are pretty good too. Uh, that's another thing. He's got uh, several overhead normals, which again is kind of surprising because usually characters usually have maybe one at two at at, at the tops uh, overheads. Uh, he appears to have two, but then he has this other, uh, his, uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's his kick move that seems to uh, 
at least give the impression that it's it's hitting overhead or not. But there goes his overhead little uh, jumping elbow. So I really like the character. I think he's um, a great character. So far, uh, the character I've been using the most in the phase two of the beta has been Ken. And uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with Ken. Uh, and I'll get to that in a moment because I know I, I put a bunch of videos of Ken up. Uh, on my channel, but uh, yeah, as you saw there, that was a double double KO, first one I've seen in Phase Two. Another thing I want to mention in this beta, in the um, stage that we see the um, the city uh, in in Hong Kong, um, it doesn't appear to have any of those stage transitions at the end where you knock the opponent in the bus or knock them in the kitchen. So I haven't seen anybody do it. I haven't done it, and I haven't heard any mention of it one way or the other. But it's just something interesting, something I, I wanted to point out. And uh, even with a lot of the gameplay footage that a lot of people have brought out, I, I haven't seen that done yet. So uh, who knows? Maybe I just haven't seen it, but I don't think it's there. Because I know in the last beta, I was frequently doing it to opponents, and I had it done to me several times. So anyway, uh, back to Ken. I'm a little disappointed in Ken because I, I feel like his damage is kind of weak. And I feel like a lot of his attacks are kind of short range. I mean, really short range. Like, I, I guess they're compensating for that because of his run. But I just feel like he's not really effective as far as for a character that's supposed to be doing a lot of countering. Uh, I think because of the nature and because of the way he is, you have to kind of blindly just run in. In certain circumstances, if you're fighting somebody very defensive, either you can play that defensive game with them or, uh, you know, if you're like me where you might want to attack, you, you might come out and be a little bit reckless, as, you know, you might notice. But uh, the game is still early. It's a beta. Things are going to change and people are going to learn how to adapt. And I'm sure Ken is going to be uh, at least a decent fighter. He's fun. He's loads of fun to play. Let me tell you that. I had a lot of fun playing Ken, but uh, I guess when, when you look at some of the other characters like Vega and Bison and Ryu uh, and even Birdie, you, you, you see some of these characters where they seem to be really effective and have a lot of effective techniques and stuff. And I'm starting to notice that with Rashid as well. So that's what I think about Ken. Uh, Vega is very overpowered. I don't know if they're going to keep him that way. Uh, but he's really overpowered. Uh, I think anybody who even halfway masters Vega, uh, even for the short duration of this beta, is going to win the majority of their matches. And uh, as far as Armika is concerned, she's great. I have no issues with her. I like her. Uh, before the beta was officially out, when we first got that little preview, I was using her, and she was just uh, a lot of fun. Uh, when, when the game, when the full game comes out, Armika is going to be definitely one of the characters that I main and that I use. But those are my thoughts so far of the Street Fighter V beta. I'm really, really enjoying it. I think Rashid is a blast to play. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go right now. You guys go uh, check out the rest of the videos. I have some pretty good matches. Uh, in the beginning, I was a little kind of rusty here in, in the first few matches. But you're going to start to see I'm starting to learn some techniques and, and, and apply some of my combos that I've learned. So... Uh, as uh, this video goes on, the matches do get better, and uh, I start doing some uh, pretty cool things with Rashid. So hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more content and uh, actually uh, become more efficient with him as I go on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the gameplay. Mastermind out.
Okay, 10 points. I did it. Final, Final round. round. Fight. Let me worry there. Round two. I am Rashid of the Turbulent Wind. Remember the name well. Come on! Let's turn up the heat! Round one. Fight! I don't I don't get hurt! I don't get hurt! Who do you get? Let's 
Ha! Ah. 
you win. win.